guys welcome back to the channel i hope all of you are healthy and safe and well happy merry 2022 it is a new year we are recharged and refreshed and ready to do more and be more but also rest more and relax more but also work smarter and not harder this year i am so excited to be back with you guys sharing content and things um today well actually wait i forgot how to do this after a while if you are not already subscribed pause the video and press subscribe down below along with that hit the bell notifications link so you know when a new video goes live okay so for today's video, I have a very informal, I guess, thing I wanna share. So a lot of you guys know that we moved into a new home last year. We have slowly been decorating and doing different things very slowly because it's a lot of house to decorate. And I didn't realize how much it took to like really furnish and make a house how you want it. And also how, yes, Harper, how expensive it is um, to do so. So we're taking it slow. Yes, tell them, baby. I know, I told them. What else? So, <clears throat> yes, extremely expensive, takes a lot of work, a lot of decisions to make. Um, so I'm taking it slow, which is why we haven't had... <laughs> if you guys don't know, I have a one-year-old, Harper. She runs this house. She doesn't talk any other time. But when the camera is on and I'm trying to do a video... <laughs> This is when she wants to talk, so I'm going to let her do her thing because this is her world and her house and she can do what she wants. So anyways, it's extremely expensive. We're taking it slow, but I wanted to stop putting off showing you guys the things that like, this, this room isn't done. My closet is not done, but I wanted to show you guys where we are with it. Um, my husband's staring at me because he's like, what else is there to do? But he has his media room that's completed and space is filled up. I got a few more things to plug and play but yes i wanted to show you guys where i am with my closet um i got this closet <laughs> why do you want to do that in here right now you don't even you don't even care to be in here right now what ah. are you well Give Harper a kiss. <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> Harper. <laughs> what was I even saying? I don't know. Okay. So today's video is a tour of my closet. <laughs> and like I said, it's not even remotely done. There are some like housekeeping or like final touch things that I want to add to it. This is strictly the design of the closet. My mom left her glasses in here. Can you just hand them out the door? Please? <laughs> this is my life now, guys. So just get used to it. If you're if you've been here, we have a lot of interruptions these days. Um, but there are things that I want to add like decoration wise, um, along with, you know, filling it up a little bit more. Um, but I am very pleased with the design of the closet. Again, we got it custom designed by a closet company. Um, I think they're based here in Dallas, but they have other companies. I love the way they designed my closet. Um, but I think due to the pandemic, everyone has been a bit all over the place. But it's because of materials and things being... Um, backed up um so my experience wasn't my absolute favorite experience with the brand um so i'm not gonna share who did it um just out of respect for them because we all have businesses and i'm not i'm not gonna put anybody out there like that but the final product came out amazing and i love it i i'm really like in awe at my closet like i just come in here and stand a lot of times um but yeah, so I wanted to show you guys the progress and what it looks like as of now. Um, as I change different things and do different updates, I'll share with you guys. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, so 
there is a little bit of organization to where things are. These are all of my somewhat color coordinated um, dresses, tops, denim and pants and skirts and then more dresses down there that are a bit more colorful. Um, it was a bit more organized but because I am now pregnant and I've been I mean, I was pregnant last year too. So it's like I've been shifting in and out clothes that I can fit because one thing that I've noticed that kind of like frustrates me is when I see a bunch of clothes out that I cannot fit or cannot wear at the time. Um, so I've been trying to take things out and put them in the back closet if they're not for right now. So I know what I can wear and what I can fit right now because let me tell you, as a postpartum mom, the worst thing is to come up to a closet and like, think that you're about to put on an outfit or see something like, oh, I haven't worn that in a while. And you go to put it on and it's like not what you thought. Even if you can fit it, it just doesn't look like it did pre-baby. Um, so in order to stop or to spare myself that heartbreak every single time I try to try something on, I have been going through my closet and taking out things that are not for right now. So I haven't been getting rid of them, but just putting them to the side out of my view for my mental sanity. So yeah, so these are the dresses and things that I can fit. Um, I actually did this a while back and then right before the new year again, just because we're not, we not carrying these negative vibes of not being able to fit stuff and not knowing what I can wear and then wearing sweatpants every day. Um, not doing that this year, or not sweatpants, but beyond yoga, skims, all that. That's all I wore last year and I really wanna do better, so I've been trying to really know where I am and where I stand with what I can fit and what I can't. So yeah, that's up here. Some of my favorite bags, well, really all of my bags are my favorite bags, um, but we have them lined up in their individual spots. Some of my favorite tops that I can fit, some are maternity and some are not. Jeans and denim that, I'm gonna be honest, the majority of it I cannot fit, but I don't have another place for denim. Um, but. That's something that I already know is just not gonna happen right now, so we just leave it there. Okay, so over here are some of my more colorful pieces. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Harper's back. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been trying to do a bit better. <laughs> She's banging on the door. <laughs> I've been trying to do a bit better with wearing color and spicing things up a bit as opposed to wearing a bunch of neutrals. Um, So one of my favorite brands, one of my all-time favorite brands is Never Fully Dressed. And they are where I really get my like spicy colors and things that like you typically wouldn't pick out, but they come out so bomb in photos. And they're just like fun pieces. Like I'm sick of wearing neutrals all of my life. So they make me spice it up a bit. You guys have seen me in countless outfits from them. Um, so I have all of their pieces here. They also have some Mommy and Me pieces. So if you guys saw this, Harper and I wore this. They have a ton of different Mommy and Me pieces. We have not worn this set yet, but they also have this one. So we'll be shooting this soon. They just only had a 2T, so I have to wait for her to get a little bit bigger. Also, I did not mention that my dress is from Lux House. If you guys don't know, last year, the end of last year, I launched a I launched a brand um, and I am in love with all of the pieces. They have all been carefully selected for women of different sizes. So a lot of the pieces, I specifically picked them because you can go, it goes with your transition in life. So a lot of things you can size down in, a lot of things have crazy stretch or they're flattering in the right places. Like this is not a maternity dress, but it looks perfect maternity um, or styled maternity wise. Styled a maternity like? Styled a, a maternity way. So yes, if you're not already following Shop Lux House um, Co on Instagram and all that good stuff because we have the looks for all the ladies. Um, I wanted to say that because <gasps> this is Lux House. This is Lux House, this is Lux House. We have some new sweaters that are coming out that are the most perfect bomb shag sweaters. So be on the lookout for those. Okay, so in this back corner, these are some of my colorful 
bags, the queen of them all right here. Um, again, colorful outfits, more colorful shoes. How many times can I say colorful? Um, my boots that Harper just reorganized. Um, down here are some of my more distinct, like flirty shoes. And then all my blacks here. Um, and then more boots. They go all up. Um, I got a new pair of boots, haven't shown them yet. And these are more of my favorite bags, because again, they're all my favorite bags. Um, this is the Black Patent Lady Dior, a Celine, my Louis, this new Gucci I just got maybe a month ago, this amazing classic Givenchy. Um, these are just some fun and flirty ones. I got one from like random places. The Never Fool that everybody has to have in life because you can literally fit everything in life in this bag. Um, Chanel, Celine. More bags in here. More shoes up there. My absolute favorite hats like the one that I have on. Um, you guys have seen me in Gigi Piff hats for years now. Um, I love them because they fit us big head ladies that wear wigs. So a lot of hats that I would find like in stores and things, it would never, it would honestly look like a top hat. Like, like the people in the old times that wore like the top hats because it never came down. They have different sizing and their sizing actually goes up to what we can fit. I am wearing a 59, which is like a medium large, I think. And then they have a 61. So these are the Kara, Kara something hats. Um, and I actually get a 61 in these ones just because they fit a little tighter than the other ones, but I love them. Gigi Pip has my, has my coins forever because their hats always, always fit me and look good. Um, so they're very sturdy and worth the price. I know a lot of people think that they're expensive, but there are a lot of hats that you can buy and the second that they're bent the wrong way or like packed wrong in a suitcase, they're done for. These, if you bend them, you can steam them back to condition just how they were. So Gigi Pip worth the money every time. They also have a warranty. And here, more bags. I have Bottega, Chanel, um, some boots and shoes up there. And yeah, I just got these Stella McCartney's from Farfetch. Farfetch is my new favorite place um, to get a lot of my designer stuff. Um, I shop there so much, I am now a private client, which is very dangerous and Corey hates it because I have an actual um, concierge and stylist to where I can like send an Instagram photo and tell them I need to find this in my size and they look all over the world to find me that one and then they go it's in your cart you can go ahead and purchase and I'm like oh that was too easy this is dangerous but yeah so the, oh I didn't show you guys these drawers are for jewelry and sunglasses that's the empty one. Oh, these are my headbands sunglasses are in here so you guys know my forever faithfuls. I don't know how to say the name. We say Jaquimis, Jaquise. We don't know, but we buy the brand. Fendi's, um, these new Dior's I got, which I love. I just, I'm, I have a thing for like frameless right now. Harper's clearly been touching these. Um, but I have a thing for like frameless, gold, like, I don't know I just have a thing for them right now so a lot of mine have been gold frameless these are some Desi's she had frameless so I got every color she had and yeah and then I have jewelry in one of these things but I wear the same earrings my same $3.99 hair store earrings um, that I'm really gonna try to do better this year and wear different ones because Shay got me some Louis Vuitton ones but I just I'm so used to wearing these I don't even think to like change out my earrings so I'm gonna do better with that this year and switching out my jewelry because I also wear other jewelry now <laughs> but that's neither here nor there and then the last shelf uh, two of my bigger everyday bags some more Gigi Pip hats and more of my casual sneakers lounge shoes sandals um, over here so that's the closet oh since we're being real here um and here is where i put everything that doesn't fit out here 
and this is just where anything that doesn't look right or like fit out here we put it back here so we're gonna organize it one day in life that day is not today so I hope you all have enjoyed this video I'm going to try to do more house update videos just as we complete things because like I said we have a long way to go to be fully completed and at first I was like I'm not gonna upload anything until we're fully done honestly that'll probably be when Harper is seven at this point at the rate of everything because we're trying to get a refrigerator and it won't even be here for another six months so I'm just gonna do things imperfectly and as they happen um, and just let you guys see the updates as they come if you guys want to see more home videos drop suggestions down below if you guys are not following me make sure you are on Instagram Pinterest Twitter Facebook TikTok, all that good stuff I love you guys peace out